citizens of St. Martin, following our first broadcast on Friday, we are back again for a second broadcast. By now you may know, but officially, St. Martin was placed on the hurricane watch as of 5 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. What does this mean? It means that uh, preparedness moves to a different level as we are expecting the storm, the hurricane, to affect us within 48 hours. On Sunday afternoon, we had a meeting of the EOC and following that meeting and in that meeting, it was decided that on Monday, schools will remain open as usual, as well as all government offices and all government services will remain open as usual on Monday. And businesses have been also urged to remain open on Monday. We want to remind the public, however, that they have to be prepared. Be prepared even though we are not sure yet how the storm will affect St. Martin in terms of its passage. On Sunday afternoon, it was located some 800 miles east of St. Martin and it was moving at 15 miles an hour, I believe it was, and the sustained winds, uh, the sustained winds were 115 miles per hour. We have continued uh, preparing for possible uh, flooding in the area of the Great Salt Pond. So what we have done, uh, Public Works has been draining the level of the pond. It is now below sea level. And one of the consequences that you may experience, uh, we can have uh, dead fish anytime uh, in the course of Monday if they have not already started uh, perishing. Uh, that is a consequence of draining the pond. In certain areas, it may be too shallow for the fish to survive. It will create some stench, uh, but that comes, so to speak, with the territory. We have been receiving uh, quite some uh, comments about the closure, not the closure, the opening of shelters. And I believe there is some misunderstanding and we need to clarify that. Uh, we have said that shelters will be opened after the hurricane. That remains like that. We, the shelters are not a home away from home. We are encouraging people, if you have family members, if you have neighbors, if you have acquaintances, friends, but if you yourself are not sure about the condition of your home, that it is not hurricane resistance, uh, get together with family, with friends, with neighbors, to seek shelter before the storm comes. So while the storm is passing, that you are secured with family, with relatives, or with neighbors or friends. Once the storm passes, for those people who would need a shelter after the hurricane, that will be provided. The idea that they will remain open for 48 hours is not engraved in stone. It is not so that we will be throwing people out but provisions would need to be made for a more uh, suitable housing because the shelters are not equipped with beds. They are not equipped with, with you know, kitchens and things like that. It is somewhere where people can find shelter immediately after the hurricane because their home uh, is no longer in a condition that they can remain there. We are also urging people to have your let's say your evacuation kit ready. If you need to move to a shelter, um, walk with uh, your food stuff in terms of some canned stuff, in, some, in terms of drinking water. It is not so that if someone shows up at a shelter and uh, they need a food that they will be turned away. If somebody shows up at a shelter and they don't have water, that they will be told you will have to buy your own drinking water, anything like that. Um, social media is what it is, and there are quite some people who might want to give things a certain spin. Um, but again, the idea is not to have shelters open before the hurricane, because it is not uh, a home away from home where people will go and say, well, you know, where I'm living is not uh, safe and secure enough. I don't think I can withstand a category three, so please take me in. 
If we were taking 100, 200 people in a shelter, 50 people in a shelter before the passing of the hurricane, those people will be expecting a government to be providing them with a bed to sleep, uh, with all the necessary uh, equipment and facilities that you would have, let's say, as if you were home yourself. Uh, there are quite some potential hazards out there. Um, we want to warn people that during and after heavy rainfall, um, along the, the, the roads and particularly along the hillsides, you can experience uh, rock falls and mudslides. Be careful. Um, we know we have had a discussion, for instance, in the Weymouth Hill area where a road was recently paved. You can have a situation because of the asphalt or the, the concrete now on the road that that road can become such of, let's say, a, a waterway. Um, the water would stay on the road and be gushing down, and it can pose a threat to people. So we are saying stay off the roads as much as possible, stay in your home as much as possible. No curfew has been issued, at least not now. Um, we are meeting again on Monday afternoon at 2 o'clock uh, to assess the, 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 the situation and to determine what will be done. As you would know, on Friday, I sent out a request uh, via the governor for assistance from the Dutch Marines. This afternoon during the meeting, information came in and we have confirmation that from Monday, they will begin uh, moving Marines from Curaçao and Aruba to St. Martin and by the end of the afternoon, late in the evening, when that uh, movement is completed, we will have something like 90 Marines uh, will be stationed on St. Martin. If there is a need, all 90 will remain. If there is no need, only those that uh, are necessary to remain here will remain on island. Uh, we hope that we won't need to use any of the 90, but prevention, of course, is better than cure. We want to issue a request and an appeal to all persons who have construction sites. Uh, we have quite some uh, construction taking place. A lot of it in the, in the hillsides, in several areas on the island. We have seen uh, construction sites, for instance, uh, in the area of um, Bel Air. Um, we have in the area of Pelican, uh, we have a major construction going on where excavation has taken place. Uh, we have in um, the valley, up in the South Reward area, we have some construction going on there as well. Excavations have taken place as well as in the area of Key Hill, where excavations have taken place in the hillside. Um, there is probably not much one can do now in terms of removing all of it, but particularly some of them may pose a threat uh, to neighboring homes. We, we are calling on those uh, contractors and the owners of those properties to do whatever you can to mitigate the, 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 the effects of the heavy rainfall as much as possible. But what we want to appeal on all of the contractors and owners of properties where construction is taking place, um, anything like loose, lying, zinc, plywood, uh, T111, uh, 2x4s, etc., please secure them. It is best, uh, if you don't have somewhere secured, it is best to get a buckle, cover them with dirt, let's say, that they remain uh, grounded during the passing of the weather. Uh, because even if we are not hit directly by Hurricane Irma, the possibility is there uh, of gusts, of heavy winds, and that can create um, problems uh, with the movement of of plywood and other loose lying construction material. Um, the Ministry of Romi is busy um, cleaning whatever trenches have been left. Uh, we have contractors who do the roadside cleaning and the trench cleaning, but there are some areas that need special attention and that has the attention of public works. We have been in contact also with 
uh, the, the garbage contractors in terms of ensuring that uh, people in preparing are cleaning their homes, they're dumping uh, garbage. So you may have that the contractor would have picked up garbage at 12 o'clock uh, or at four o'clock in the morning and by six, seven o'clock they, they are full again. Um, we will have a cut off at some point in time on Tuesday. Uh, we will be announcing when that will be, but we want to ask people uh, to not dump garbage if the dumpster is already full. Hold it at home until the dumpster is empty again or has space because just putting it there might result in it falling over into the streets and particularly if it is household garbage that dogs may find a pleasure in ripping bags asunder and creating um, more of a hazard than anything else. Um, as I said earlier, the pond has been uh, uh, drained and yes, if the fish uh, would have died, it's unfortunate, but then we would have to deal with that. We may suffer some stench, particularly in the area there by uh, the floodgates, um, by um, where Eddie's Auto Parts used to be in that area. Uh, Public Works will ensure that that is cleaned up as soon as possible, but that is to prevent that in the event we have any serious rainfall that the pond is already prepared to take the amount of water that will be coming down from the hill areas. The, in the area of Great Bay, we will not be opening uh, the pond there because we expect with the surging of the sea that sea water might be getting into the fresh pond. So to mitigate that, what we have done uh, or what we will do on Monday is um, create a heavier, a higher sand bank over there by Great Bay to prevent the seawater from coming in. Um, as far as the school closure is concerned, as I said, schools will remain open on Monday. Um, we know there will be quite some people who may not think it is a good idea to have the schools open. Uh, we will be told schools are closed on the French side. Initially, it was the intention to sco close schools on Monday as well, but after we had a broad discussion in the EUC as far as what some of the negative consequences and negative impact could be, we have decided to keep schools open on Monday. B government offices and government services will also remain open uh, to the public on Monday. We will be getting back uh, to you on our, in our third broadcast after our meeting on Monday afternoon at two o'clock. I want to urge all citizens and, and make an appeal on all citizens uh, to be prepared. Be prepared, do not wait until the last moment. Do not be on the roads unnecessarily. Um, we want to call on, you know, ask the cooperation of particularly the hardware stores um, to uh, you know, be as flexible as possible, put in more cashiers if need be to assist, uh, as well as in the shops. All of these days from Friday, uh, the grocery stores were lined with people. Some of them uh, were doing their regular monthly shopping, um, stocking up even on frozen items. Uh, but we are saying, um, Make sure that you have an adequate amount of fresh drinking water, an adequate amount of canned food in the event, uh, you know, electricity goes and you have to stay in-house and stay off the roads. Uh, we want to thank you for tuning in and we pray uh, for the safety of all citizens, not only on St. Martin, but on surrounding islands. And while we are preparing, we hope and we pray that the storm will be diverted in such a way that it will not affect St. Martin and the surrounding islands. I thank you.